Okay, so I've had my drink of water, and I was actually thinking about the final boss, because uh, you really want to have a weapon that can inflict a lot of damage against him. And this is already holy, so we'll probably use this. Well, let's test these boots. They don't give me jump. What do they give me? <laughs> Whatever, let's just wear... Uh, ooh, I have named speed boots. Oh, and now I can jump. Sweet. Okay, that's great. Let's dip this in... <laughs> yes, let's dip it in the poison potion, because that's exactly what we want to do. So we'll stick with whole... Do we want reflect at the cost of six armor class? Sure, why not? Expand your horizons. What just happened? Yes, you return to the main... Thingy. And we shall kill some more creatures, I guess. Wait, how am I not being very reflective at all? Wait, can I pick... Dang it! Eat the large bat, eat the white dragon. Okay, whatever, that's fine. We have Breathless anyway, so let's go down. Bell Weir's Library. Okay, so this is the Sudoku stage that I was talking about. Uh, the entrance has only one... I cannot eat a cave troll corpse. The entrance, there's only one way to get in, and that is to complete the Sudoku. You'll see once I get there that the uh, door is actually magically locked. So, you can't actually do anything about it unless you can get in there. Greek fire. Of all the potions that I could get now, why Greek fire? I'm not exactly the highest level, but I've got really good equipment. And cockatrice don't scare me at all because I have unchanging. If for whatever reason I die from a cockatrice now, I'm going to be really angry. <laughs> because I shouldn't die from them. Anyway, let's keep eating, let's make our way to the entrance, which is not here, evidently. The library is a ridiculously good place because it gives you a lot of extra scrolls and stuff. Uh oh. And, uh, okay, so here, this is what I'm talking about, okay, gotta be a little bit careful now because I'm paralyzed and slow, why did I just heal for no reason, <laughs> I don't understand this game, why did I just heal? Sure, well, if I heal for free, why not, so here, uh, you need to place a scroll, a ring, another named ring? Damn. A scroll, a ring, a wand, and a potion in one of these four spots so that there are not two of the same things. Or like, you, there is not the same potion in uh, twice in any row or twice in any column. So, since we have so many of these, uh, so what do you call these? Wands, right? We start with these. So whenever you try the door, if they disappear, they're in the wrong place. So try another one. If they vibrate, they're in the right place. So then we're gonna drop this, which is probably a wand of nothing. Okay, that disappeared, so that's in the wrong place. Drop it here. So that's definitely in the right place now. And then wand of ice. We're gonna split this. And it vibrates, so that's in the right place. So the last place must be here for this. Okay, so now we work on uh, what else do we have? A lot of potions. We have so many poison potions. Potion disappears, not in the right place. So let's split these up. Drop one. Did that vibrate? Yes, it did. Good. 
Let's try dropping one here now. So basically, it's all up to chance, and uh, you just need to have enough of the items to go to actually go through and do this. If you run out somehow, then you know that's just too bad for you because you can't get into it, and and uh, it's there's so much good stuff in there that not being able to access it is just a huge shame. Anyway, I have four scrolls of magic map. Oh, I only have one holy. Okay, so what else do we have a lot of that we can get rid of? Scrolls, I guess. But you don't need to get rid of a lot to do this now. You have a 1 in 2 chance of getting it right, and once you find one, the others are guaranteed. So just drop it without worry. This one goes here. Last one goes here. And drop some rings now. Drop some more rings now. Windows is asking me to restart. If I do that now, I'm really going to get very angry because I'm so close to the end game. Okay. When everything vibrates, it's going to turn into a normal door forever. So, pick everything back up. And sort it again. And as you can see, a lot of extra scrolls. Two scrolls of remove curse. Scroll of teleport. Uh, tome of healing, tome of earth, death, healing, familiar tome. I think there's basically every single book in here. So go ahead, stock up on what you need. True aim. No. Book of sharp. Oh, book of sharp points. Here we go. Uh, disarm. What's the skill with this? Disarm. So now I have full skill with this, which is great. Okay. Drop it again. Another scroll of identify. Definitely want to keep as many of these on you as you can. Tome of divination. Smoke trap in here, really? That's low. Two scrolls of identify and enchant weapon and enchant armor. Damn. Okay, so four scrolls of identify. Necromancy, guile, familiar tomb. Named this thingy. Book of blades. I don't think I have anything I can get now. Because I'm pretty sure I have uh, as much as I possibly can, so let's read one of these. Okay, so let's see what my stuff does, because we haven't known for a long time. Unchanging magic drain. Okay, big deal. Breathless and polymorph. Oh. Fast jump and armor. That's pretty good. And that damage sucks. Acid resistance. Cursed rings of unchanging. <laughs> okay, I think that's all the equipment that we have. Yeah. We have this, which grants can dig, which... Huh. This gives me an interesting idea, because with can dig, we can just, uh, on the way up, we can just dig into the walls and not have to worry. Shock resistance, cold resistance... Polymorph control. <laughs> Noisy. Teleport control. So we don't actually even have fire resistance. Which really sucks, but uh let's go. <laughs> it's a named rock, really? Oh you know what that does though? Oh that's really cool. Ah, oh, we don't have a Warhammer. Oh, no. Oh, no. If we had a Warhammer, that would be so epic. Okay. Okay. Please don't surround me with acid. 
I don't have fire resistance. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait. <laughs> what am I worrying about? We have magic mapping. Wait, that is the stairs down. There's a named rock. Oh my god, a named rock. As silly as it sounds, a named rock with a normal warhammer produces a named warhammer. Okay, I definitely need to wear water walking boots for this. Wait, I have a plus one speed boots. Why haven't we been wearing non plus one? Probably plus three speed boots. And then what was the item that granted me? As ah oh, shoot, it's this. Oh, let's wear it here. <laughs> it's gonna be a very very difficult time though. Prove your worth. Okay. Wait, why is my AC so low? Oh, <laughs> because I'm wielding sandals. This part is pretty easy. Cockatrice, not even a threat. I'm gonna eat the cockatrice. Eat the demon. <sighs> this is annoying. Damn, if I only had a warhammer, that'd be so sick. Wait, how am I resisting? Is this, is this poison? Oh, okay. Yeah, it is poison resistance. Unchanging. Regeneration. Breathless. Uh, oh wait, I want to wear this because it gives me jump, which is, and I have leap attack, I'm pretty sure. I think I learned it like super long ago, but I've never used it because I never found the time to use it. Eat the orc. Okay, it gets kind of hard around these things, but even with these, I'm just... Why am I mysteriously regenerating? Oh, because of class cough, I see. Okay, so... Ghasts. Feel free to zap fire at them. You don't need to save your wants of fire, because in the end game, um, the final boss is resistant to fire, so it's pointless to save your fire. Strangled is, does nothing to me. I have not casted a single spell. What? How do I have fire resistance? What? It's telling me I have fire resistance, but... I don't know why I have seeing visible. Yeah, I don't... Poison resistance I do, but not fire resistance. Hmm, I don't understand this. <laughs> Wait, no, let's just wear this here. I'm strangled and blind. But I'm still killing them. Okay, these guys are dangerous. Or, you know, they're supposed to be dangerous. Until you run all right over them all with your sword. Okay, so I think for this video, I'm just gonna go up to. Uh, can I eat some of these guys? Yes, I can. And then full ready. You are revealed to all. Oh, that's annoying. That's really annoying. Because it immediately tells everyone where you are. Also, bleeding. I think I'm near the end. Oh, a named kobold. I mean, not kobold, a uh, turtleoid. Wand of teleport, which is going to be useless later on. What does this do? Acid resistance, also. <laughs> Same as if I were to hold these in my hand. Ring of polymorph control. Unchanging is nice. Okay, what's the next one? Oh, warrior class cough. Okay. In pit. 
Okay, get rid of all of that stuff first. First of all, while this is happening, <laughs> I'm gonna drop these and pick them up. Get out of here, guys. I'm trying to make holy water. Sort. How many more mag magic mapping do I have? Quite a few. Let's just use it here. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, shoot. Normally, the way to do this is to find a choke point and then just bash them to death. There's a lot of them. Try to eat them till you're full so you have more regeneration. And uh, as usual, use fire gratuitously. Because, you know, this is going to be the last place where you can actually use your wand of fire. Oh, another polymorph control ring. Useless. On the fire is your one the fire. I still have two of these. And because they're like so lined up, this works perfectly. And I gain another level. So I'm just, you know, kind of bashing these guys all to death. I still have magic drained. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Let's die now. Poor shape, looks like my funeral. Yeah, right. Ooh, an artifact ring. Artifact ring of searching. I'm gonna eat this artifact corpse. Except it's not an art artifact corpse. Because we have so many identifiers, let's just read it so we know what it is. Unchanging, search, warning, and jump. Holy shoot. Wait, unchanging, search, warning, jump. Unchanging, search, warning, and jump. Well, that definitely beats you know, this thing. Definitely want to make this holy. Okay, so here is where you want to prepare for the end game, you know, by making sure that your all of your wands of ice are blessed so they don't fail when you need them the most. So, okay, even your zero, make sure you bless it. I'm going to kill the rest of them. Okay, go in the forest. What is that? Kiwi. Okay. Sleep here until full health. And, uh, yep. Two fifty two health. That's maximum. And that's it for now. In the next episode, we take on Bale's Bub and hopefully don't get completely messed up by him. <laughs>